I remember seeing him on Vine and I was like showing my sister and I was like, oh my god, he's so good. It was one of his Vine videos, but it was on Facebook and it was him singing in front of a bush with a guitar. He said like, you know, like make a Vine like how you think the song is going to sound and I'll revine the best of them. And I tried to do it. for coming out tonight. So I'll, I'll... My name is Elaine, Elaine Ding, and I'm from Ferndale, Washington. It's too cold oh, oh, for you here. Shawn Mendes is a extremely popular Canadian singer. He started on YouTube, became popular on Vine, went back to YouTube, and then now he's selling out freaking stadiums and arenas. He's a person that I really like look up to in a way that inspires me. He's just so passionate in what he does and it like makes me want to like be more passionate about, about the things that I do. He's one of those people that like when I first became a fan, like I was just like instantly like inspired, like anybody can do what he does. I think Sean Mendes to me is kind of more of like a friend. Even though he probably doesn't even know I exist, but to me, he's like a friend to me. He's just the most sweetest and genuine guy in the whole entire world. Like, from him being a teenager and going into adulthood, like, he's been the same person and, like, staying outside with fans, taking pictures, and, like, making sure that we're okay. Like, when I listen to his music or whatever, like, I can just relate so much to it. And I think it's crazy how, like, people put, like, celebrities or whatever in this, like, high pedestal that, like, you can't relate to them. You're, like, nothing like them. But, like, with Sean, like, I genuinely feel like we're like the same person. Sean for me is one of the most humble and kind artists that I've ever been a fan of. I mean, growing up, I've, you know, supported a lot of artists, but with him, there was just something that just stood out. And I think it's because of how truthful he is with his music and he's not afraid to be himself. He's everything to me. Like, he's done so much for me, impacted my life. He's always, when I felt like I had no friends, like he was there for me, like not like physically, but like his music and like, watching his videos. It's just, it's been incredible to see him become who he is today. It's, it's so surreal. To me, Sean is just a regular guy who um, does something that he loves to do. He loves to perform. Do I have, do I have? Loves to sing. It's so perfect standing there in my American apparel on the way. And, um, be there for his fans. When you're around him, you feel comfortable because it's honestly as if he were one of your friends. When was the first time you ever saw him live? November 11th, 2014 at Kelly and Michael. The Austin Mahone summer tour. The Austin Mahone one with um, Fifth Harmony, The Vamps, and Shawn Mendes. Um, Shawn Mendes World Tour. The Illuminate World Tour it was the Illuminate show. Illuminate in Portland, July 22nd, 2015, in Indianapolis, Indiana. It was at a fair in like the city next to mine. His first year visit in 2015. <laughs> Shawn's first headline. It was in 2015, yeah. 2015 at the Warfield in San Francisco. This year, um, Summerfest. 2016 at the Air Canada Center in Toronto. The 1989 show when he opened up for Taylor. When he opened for Taylor Swift on the 1989 World Tour in Vancouver. I was like really happy. I don't really even know how to explain the feeling because I remember I kind of felt unreal. I was truly crying and like my friend was telling me all the moms and like the daughters around us was like looking at me and I was just like, okay, well, sorry, like. Yeah, it was pretty incredible. It was mind blowing. I was crying, really. I cried a lot and I didn't talk for the next two days. I remember just like literally crying and had like tears down my face and everyone was like, oh my God, is this girl okay? Right when that intro started, like I could just feel my whole body like shaking. All I remember screaming was like the first thing was like, oh my God, he's real. Oh my God, is he real? Like, 
I couldn't believe that all this time after everything, like I went through, like he's finally at his first hometown arena show. So it was like him just like giggling and like laughing at us. And like, it was so fun. Oh, it was so sweet. Like, cause back then it was just him and his guitar on stage. And I just remember him with his little guitar and I was so happy that he was there. That's almost four years ago already. He was just 16. And I had just t turned 14. And now I'm 18. And he's 20. It's crazy. And then, like, when he first stepped out, I just started, like, bawling my eyes out. And my mom was, like, recording me the whole time because she thought it was hilarious. Everyone thought I was crazy in my section. But, like, no one knew it. I was, like, going hard. I was dancing. I was trying to make up for all those missing seats on the floor. I was like, I wish I was there. And it was the best concert I've ever been to. So many people meet through music, which is like insane to think about. Oh my gosh, like half of my friends right now I've made is because of Sean. Like, it's crazy to think about it, but like, it's true. It's so interesting to me how like I've made friends with people who don't live here. <laughs> it, it's something where you feel understood. I have friends from Australia, from Canada, from Europe from just from everywhere around the world and then it's so cool if you travel somewhere else for a show and then you meet like all of those friends you've known from Twitter because of him and I would say I think I've never been to like a different country without meeting someone from Twitter that I've met through Sean um, and that is just really cool because the people I've met through him are my best friends I don't even know if I have other friends but like <laughs> It's like so cool to me that like I can wake up in the morning and like log onto this app. Yeah. And like just talk to people that are like on the other side of the world. I could fly somewhere in the world, like practically anywhere, and there'd probably be someone from Twitter that I would know. You expect it to be awkward, but like it's really not awkward at all. Cause like you guys may talk like every day, but just being in person it makes it so much better. I have I have met people who is so powerful and have impacted my life. Uh, with everything they are doing and I'm so thankful with Sean because of that. I have met people from the other side of the world and from around the corner of my house too and I think that's important and I'm so thankful with him. Sydney High, like other Sydney, um, is like one of my best friends like to this day and we were texting on Christmas and being like We've almost been friends for two years, but it doesn't even like feel like we like met on Twitter or something. It's like she's like actually just like my best friend and we have so much in common and we can always go months and months without seeing each other and like pick everything up again. And like it's like because of Sean. After his first the headlining show, that concert, because we met up randomly mm -hmm. and then um, we became inseparable after that. Mm -hmm. And we made our fan accounts together. We switched from personal to fan accounts, like just the same day. And so, yeah. I met my best friend, Stephanie. We're in our painting class. And she just kind of like asked me what I did for the summer. And I was like, you know, just, you know, went to a concert. And so I'm just like, who? Who did, who did you see? And I was like, um, Sean Mendes. Don't know if you know who that is. We kind of bonded over our music and stuff and hit him in general and his music and how he's inspired us and um now we're like this we're real tight so that's why like whenever i meet someone like Karen, like she was so nice like i i had a feeling like that she was like just such a genuine person like i wanted to be friends with her because i just realized it doesn't really matter if you go to school with certain people like it's just like the people you meet like who are gonna like stay in your life is what matters kind of so many of them live far away so like we see each other like just three, four times a year, then like every week as usual like best friends do. But it's really like we talk every day, but not me every day. And like I wish we did, but it's hard when like some is from America, some is from Canada, some is from Australia, from UK, and like when I'm in Lou, Norway. So hard, but we find a way ways to do it. <laughs>
a lot of people always say like, oh, why do you go to the same show? You know it's his show is when he sings Ruin. I'm screaming, do I ever cross your mind? I mean, I mean, no, I'm just kidding. We'll never not sing back to you. He makes you feel like, you can feel the energy. You literally can feel like he's literally giving his all. And the way he kind of interacts with the audience, like he definitely knows how to capture, you know, people's attention. You just feel so connected to him. He's just like, connects with the entire audience. He really connects with the crowd as well. The connection he has with us and like, people in like the arena or wherever is like something so different than I've ever seen. And then he lets us sing and it's like, it amazes me every single time he like lets us sing. It's like, it just got even louder in here. Just all the sing along parts, like the interlude of In My Blood. <laughs> chills literal chills because like i love sing-alongs and you just have so much fun with it voice like sounded better live than on the c like on cd it's a really great way to bring the audience into your show and to make them feel a part of it every single show is so special there's always kind of like different people i'm just in the moment i'm not really thinking about anything else it, it doesn't matter how big the crowd is his shows are always very intimate the vibes that he gives off on stage like you truly know that he like loves doing what he loves like what he's doing right now it's always like energetic it's always pumped up and his band like works so hard like zoom in yes yeah, it's, like, it's just crazy <laughs> like that everyone's there for one reason that's to like have the time of their life like have just fun and just like Sing their lungs out. <laughs>
yeah, I love that place so much. And when Sean released Never Been, I came home and it was like, it was like the least to me where I like could like think of like me and my relationship with the kids and being like, I'm gonna come back and like I'm always there and like, you know, like just like it was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it just like meant so so much to me. And like that song to this day will like always be like something special. And even like when I like went to Australia, my it was really hard for my mom because I was gone for so long. And like I like sent her never be alone to be like, mom, it's okay. I'm like still here. And like <laughs> my mom has always been like, you can like look up at the moon like wherever you are, and I can look up at it, and we can like always look at the same moon. And like I have a tattoo on my ribs that's like in the shape of the moon that I got with my mom because of that and it's just like another thing that like it's just like yeah it means like it's just like home to me like it just like brings so many of my homes and my hearts together in that song that I can be like it's okay like you know yeah a little too much yeah I've always felt like so when I heard that live I didn't know that he was gonna necessarily sing that on Illuminate um and I was really bummed that I wouldn't get to hear a lot of the songs from the first album since I missed like the first tour or two and um, when he sang that, like, that was another time. I don't, I'm usually like, like I feel emotional at concerts, but I don't actually like cry. And that was one that just, I, I was like, I, I was like holding my mom's hand. And I was just like, this is like so much, it, it, it goes within my blood in a way where I, I felt like he was like singing about what I was thinking. And when, especially when um, Handwritten had come out, it was around a time where I was feeling, again, like I was in high school and a lot of things were happening that were um, difficult and like, that was one of those times where I felt like I was just really alone. And like, I didn't know really who to talk to because I didn't, I don't really like to like have people feel like sorry for me necessarily. And when I heard that song, like, I just felt like I'm not by myself. Like he's not a girl, but he can tell like, that um, these things happen to like everyone and we can't be ashamed and like we can push forward and things are gonna get better. And yeah, that song's super important to me, so. Never Be Alone makes me cry every single time I hear it. Um, in high school, I was diagnosed with like a tumor and I kind of like lost all of my friends and stuff. <laughs> and um, it was just one of those times where you kind of feel alone and like nobody's like really there or whatever and I heard the song and it just made me cry because it just made me feel like somebody's there and that I will never be alone and I don't know I just that's the one that really hits me hard never be alone <laughs> that's why I have a tattoo both my dad and my sister and myself wrote my own tattoo so we like we're never alone like I think I really connect with that song because I was in a bad state of mind and like when I first heard it I was 14 as well like I just turned 14 and at that age you were very vulnerable and that song you really hit home and I didn't feel like myself and stuff and like really like to get like to feel that you're not alone is really like special and you like you need to have that reassurance that you won't be alone and that song will hit home. If you ever had the moment to sit down and just talk to him, what would you say to him? Okay, I would tell him that I'm super proud of him and what he's achieved. I would tell him literally like how proud I am of him. I don't know, I feel like I would cry and be in shock and kind of just thank him for what he's done for me you know like i would thank him i'm thankful for what he does for everyone thank you for giving me the best friends in the world thank you thank you for being a part of my childhood thank you for creating amazing things like your music thank you for like everything thank, thank you. you sean i don't know like have a deep conversation about music maybe i would first tell him how proud i am of like his journey i'd say congratulations on your uh two-time grammy nominations like, yes. Keep doing what you love because you know what? It's inspiring so many people out there. So many people look up to you. Talk to him about like his like journey, like from where he started to like where he is now. I just would love to hang out with him and like make jokes about like 
I don't know how he can't grow a mustache or like something like that. You know, like just like <laughs> how much he means to me and how much he's, he's done for me. Because I'm so proud of him and that's such an understatement to say right now. But he's really just incredible and I feel so proud to support such a caring and passionate person. Words cannot describe how proud I am of you. You're truly such an amazing artist and person in general. Um, I don't know, maybe like, jam out. <laughs> You've made a great soundtrack for my childhood. I think it's very important that he like sticks to his friends, to his family, just to people that do good for him. We always like thank him, but I wonder like how do we impact him, you know? And I kind of want to talk about like, you know, if you want, like, you can vet this time. Like, he's inspired me to do so many things. He's helped my confidence in myself. So, honestly, keep experimenting, keep rocking on those stages, and yeah, man, because it's, it's beautiful. It's actually the most beautiful thing ever, so don't ever stop doing what you're doing. Just keep going, keep going, always. <laughs> he's, like, put so much work into his passion, which has inspired me to put work into my passion. I would want to give him a big, fat hug. <laughs> Watching everything kind of from the start to now, it's just incredible. And thank you for believing in your fans. Yeah, thanks. I mean, I don't like her that much, but like... <laughs> thanks for giving me someone that I have to hang out with. <laughs> Whatever, I'm bored. <laughs>